Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create some really cool and simple GFX with Blender 2.8. So all the links you will need are in the description below, so you can go check that out if you don't have them already. Before we start, please subscribe as it will help me a ton. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. First, you want to open Roblox Studio and then click on Faceplate. Once that is open, you want to click on Plugins and Load Character. Search any character you want to create a GFX for, then click on R6. Alright, so this is my character. On the right here is all the things that are on your character and you can take them away by clicking Delete. So, to save it, you want to go to Export Selection, choose a file and save it here. Just create a random thing then you want to open blender 2.8 it should look something like this when you uh, open it so just ignore that click on file open recent and paint rig you should have that or if you don't links in the description now you want to click on this it's a file looking thing and you want to go to the file where you saved it and click on your gfx all right so this is your gfx simple note is to move around you want to hold down your scroll wheel this makes you be able to look around all right so back to the thing that we are supposed to do click on your object and go to pose mode this is where you can annotate all the characters like arms and everything very simple stuff so i'll just do a quick collapse of me creating a cool gfx Alright guys, so once you have decided on what you want with your GFX, you can play around, uh, you can always learn a lot by playing around with the application. So once that's done, you want to go back into object mode, click add, and click on light, and then point. So this will be where your light will be, and you want to move this up and interview. So there's no light right now, and you're probably wondering why. Do you want to go to object data properties which is the green globe thing on the side click power to 1000 figure it out so you need to go into viewpoint shading and yeah this is why so it might look like this when you do it for some reason it's lagging around a lot go into the tv looking thing and click on render engine then ev so now this is fully smooth and yeah you're ready to go so uh, with back to the light, you want to somewhere put it not straight in his face because you won't be able to see in the camera, it'll look very odd. Put it in a safe distance, then control C, control V, and just put it all around his character. Light him up. It's, yeah, that's the simplest way to do this. Control C, control V. So now, once your lighting is done, maybe this is a bit too close. Alrighty guys, so once your lighting is done, you want to go click add again and click on camera. Then you want to press zero, shift, squiggly line, which is next to uh, keycap one to the left. Then you can press E to go up, Q to go down, and you can put your GIF X into view just like this. You can also do that to the side if you want to. But let's just do a front on for this one. Alright, once you have it in the middle, you can click left click. And I'll give you a quick tip here. If you press R once, you can control the direction. So that's pretty cool. Let's just give it a slight angle. Alright, that's cool. And if you don't want it to be transparent in the background, which is very odd, I must say you can go into film here which is under the tv section film and then you click transparent now that's transparent epic to save it you want to click f12 and that is your job done that's your png gfx now you can go into image save as and save it wherever you want so we'll just name it revictrix gfx save as image now, if I go into my file, 
this will be my GFX and yes it is PNG it's just white because that's just how file opens it so if you send it to anything upload it to YouTube put it into your Photoshop application or paint.net it will come out as PNG and it'll match and it'll just have no background so that's how you make your simple GFX I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe if you do um, it would really help me a lot leave a comment and subscribe anyways if you want more tutorial videos Please tell me. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.